From 2012 to 2016, California experienced one of the worst droughts in its history. As reservoir levels dropped and rivers were reduced to mere trickles, many cities, farmers, and water districts pumped from underground water reserves. In the midst of that drought, California passed the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act, or SIGMA, in 2014. SIGMA requires our region to develop and implement detailed plans for how it will reach long-term groundwater sustainability. If you drink water, eat food, or grow crops, then this law matters to you. We all have a stake in this, and we all have a say in how this law is implemented locally. But first, let's get you familiar with groundwater. You live here, in what's called the San Joaquin Basin, one of the most agriculturally productive regions in the world. Within the San Joaquin Basin is a little sub-basin we call the Turlock Sub-Basin, one of 515 basins and sub-basins in the state. This sub-basin covers 347,000 acres between the Tuolumne, Merced, and San Joaquin rivers. You can imagine the San Joaquin Basin as a giant bedrock tub filled with sediments and clay left over from an ancient sea that once covered the valley floor, on top of which lies gravel, soils, and silts washed down from the Sierra. Mixed within the soils, silts, clays, and gravel exists a massive store of fresh water. It took thousands of years for most of this water to get trapped among the layers of earth. As rains, rivers, and flood irrigation slowly seep through the porous soil and rock on the surface, water collects underground in what we call aquifers. We've been pumping this groundwater through wells for over a century. Currently, every city in our region relies almost exclusively on these aquifers for drinking water, while some farmers use it either exclusively or to supplement surface water from the rivers for irrigation. Compared to the rest of the state, Turlock Subbasin groundwater has been managed quite well. It's in better condition than other subbasins due to a reliable surface water supply from local rivers, reducing reliance on groundwater. Through Sigma, California became the last state in the West to regulate groundwater. Sigma empowered local agencies with greater authority to manage local groundwater. Local agencies will regulate and enforce usage as groundwater sustainability agencies, or GSAs. The GSA's job is to come up with Groundwater Sustainability Plans, or GSPs. These GSPs will be our guiding documents for the next two decades. They'll define what groundwater sustainability actually means for the Turlock Subbasin, as well as outline what projects and programs we're going to need to implement. The goal is that the GSAs will create GSPs that will lead to groundwater sustainability by the year 2042. Fortunately, our region's leaders have been focused on managing surface water and groundwater in a connected, complementary manner long before Sigma required it. 100 years of sustainable farming practices and reliable surface water has put the Turlock Subbasin in a good position for Sigma's success. Since 1995, the Turlock Subbasin public agencies have been coordinating and communicating through formal and informal partnerships. So, while critically overdrafted subbasins were required to submit their sustainability plans by 2020, we have until 2022, thanks to the historical stewardship, which has ensured that the Turlock Subbasin is not critically overdrafted. GSPs will be submitted to, reviewed, and approved by the Department of Water Resources. Once approved, they'll be enforced locally by the GSAs, who can regulate groundwater management and usage. But if GSAs fail to achieve sustainability, or if their plans are largely deficient, the State Water Resources Control Board can dictate groundwater management locally and implement its own requirements upon the Turlock Subbasin. Our subbasin is managed by two GSAs, a West Turlock GSA made up of these members and an East Turlock GSA made up of these members. GSAs were formed through two years of collaborative discussions among local agencies. Together, we're making sure we achieve all groundwater sustainability goals within a unified GSP. Groundwater is critical to water management. Sigma and its associated regulations will shape our community for the next century. That's why we need the involvement of local stakeholders like you, because planning decisions are best made when they represent the community they affect. We've been charged with managing groundwater locally, and it's going to be one of the biggest water challenges of our generation.